To some, genius is an arbitrary label. The strict definition is an outstanding artistic or intellectual ability. In short, extreme talent. 13-year-old Archiana Chromeric fits the bill perfectly, and she has a unique claim behind her gift. The earliest memory I could recall is probably when I was around four and a half, four years old. One day I started having these very amazing and mysterious visions. His voice was following me, guiding me through these galaxies. And he, I asked him, do you know, who are you? And I started calling him God. Akiana is an art prodigy from Idaho who claims that God told her to paint. And for nine years, she hasn't stopped. I like to say me and God are both in control of everything. I could, so he tells me an idea and I could just take that idea and make it better and polish it better and just put it into paints. So he's like my personal teacher, <laughs> my tutor. She was four years old when I knew there was something special about her because she was describing a lot of new things on spiritual matters. And also she started drawing exceptionally well. Akiana developed an intense interest in sketching. By five years old, she was already drawing at a level way beyond her years. Myself, I thought she was dreaming. I thought there was something made out of an imagination. And when she started describing it more and more, it, it became apparent that this was actually something that did happen. By eight, Akiana was painting portraits on giant canvases. It kind of took me aback because we never read the Bible or we didn't have any kind of spiritual connection. With no artists in her family, she was completely self-taught. This is actually one of my absolutely favorite and most memorable painting. This is called The Prince of Peace. Um, when I was, I painted this when I was eight years old with oils. Many, many artists all around the world, they always ask me, so how did you do this and how did you do that? I was like, I don't know, I just did it. <laughs> It's, it's, it's very complicated for, uh, you know, a child to, to explain what they did. The only way they can explain is through, you know, painting or through their creativity. Described by art critics as a phenomenal talent, she has now produced more than 100 paintings, ranging from realist portraits to fantastic landscapes and the natural world. They can each take anywhere from 15 to 300 hours to complete. Akiana's genius could be explained by sheer hard work. Homeschooled, she gets up at 4 a.m. six days a week and paints for up to five hours a day. It's just, just really cool to see the lights. Really... Sometimes there are days, you know, sometimes when she's finishing up a painting, she might uh, paint for 12, 14 hours. And I would ask her to uh, take breaks and have something to eat or drink, and sometimes she would refuse. Akiana only studies the subjects she enjoys. She loves printing, publishing her books and poetry and art, and that's what she loves doing and let her do all day long. I don't ask her to ever do math. If critics say, no wonder she's a genius because she's devoting all her time for art, then it would be a better place in the world that there would be more people who are interested in focusing their energy to the fields that they are interested in. 13-year-old art prodigy, Akiana Kromerik, absolutely believes that her God-given talent is behind her extraordinary success. Today, at a local gallery selling prints of her work, she has come for a meet and greet with some of her fans. Have you ever had any visions of heaven? Yes, and... actually, um, for a couple years, since I was four to seven years old, I had constantly visions of heaven, and I use those visions and I paint them. I mean, I'm thinking that, you know, you're at your age and you're already, you know, so established in this industry, you know, 
I look up to you. Oh, thank you. That's a very inspiration to me. Thank you. She's really been in touch with another dimension that is not common to our normal human experience. It's definitely projected. She's like a projector from God onto a canvas. An artist since the age of four, this is no mere hobby for Archiana. Her prints alone sell for thousands of dollars. At home, she is the sole breadwinner, with her parents and brothers carrying out specific roles in her business. Being the main money maker in the house is a great responsibility, but you, actually when I paint, I just don't feel like I'm making uh, money, I'm making the business, but it just feels like I'm having fun with the painting. But Archiana's genius has made her family rich. Since it's slow now and the economy's kind of a little flattened out, I probably do, or we do, I should say we, uh, 50 prints uh, a month. Now, uh, a print is $1,800 US dollars to 3100 On top of the $100,000 plus a month they make from prints, Every so often, they sell an original. Well, the most originals are between 100,000 and 300,000. Uh, our, our highest uh, one sold is 175. And that was a challenge. That was the, the one with the horse in the middle of the pine trees with the, in the snow. And it sold to a rancher uh, down in Texas. We try not to sell the originals. You know, she has control. Because all of this you see here is all hers. So when she's 18, this is hers. I walk out of the picture and I do something else. And the fruits of Akiana's labor? A new million dollar family home. She'll be painting in this area here. Uh, we'll have her probably easel here. I don't know if an easel on this wall or easel on that wall. But we also gave her a little kitchenette where she'd be able to have her daily coffee or tea, wash her brushes. But is this a normal childhood for a 13-year-old girl? If a normal childhood is to sit in front of television and just be on cellular yeah, phone for three, it, yeah. four hours a day, I don't know if that's normal ch childhood. Um, I consider a normal childhood being able to, ser to, to serve other people, to help other children, to enjoy what you're doing, to be together with the family. Yeah, I agree on that. I have nothing to add to that one. She's not missing out a thing.